then uh, Sean, hey guys, Debo's a great sure. player. Sorry, he is not emotionally mature. This has been like watching a 10 year old negotiate. Where has he been? I didn't realize how fans would react. I hope he stays. And see, that's the kind of stuff I want to address if you allow me the time. So if we of start course. going too long, let me know. Okay. I want to, I want to, I'm going to compare this situation to a couple of other players in 49ers history and then in the NFL. Okay. Um, you can't go around acting like you want out of San Francisco during contract negotiations and expect the fans to still rally behind you. Yeah. So it's one thing to be in the middle of negotiations and say, oh, I want to get this money. Cool. And like you said, I, I think players should get every dime they could possibly get. Hold it. I think what Deshaun Watson did was genius. A fully guaranteed contract. I want more of that in football. I want more of that in football. P before people, oh, only 40% of his contract is guaranteed. Enough of that. These guys are putting their lives, their livelihood on the line every single time, not just in a game, in practice. Even in practice, these guys are, are risking it all. So I say pay these guys. I'm all for that. If the salary cap didn't exist, give them 40 million if, if, if the team could afford it. I don't care. That's not what this is about. That's not what this is about. As long as you're posting, oh, I'm getting this money or y'all see my work, whatever, whatever, the fans are going to rally behind you. They're going to tag John Lynch. Hey, pay this man. Hey, we want this guy, okay? What you can't do is as soon as Mike McDaniel gets hired over in Miami, post videos of you two at lunch. You can't do that. That's new to me. I just saw this video like two or three days ago. And that I'm going to be honest with you, piled on with all the other stuff, it pissed me off. You can't go around putting the eyes underneath the, 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 the jersey swap photo. You can't post on your social media, hey, I'm looking for realtors in Miami. Get at me. Bro, come on. You have an agent. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to post. You, you know what you're doing. You're making it look like you want out. And if that's the case, the fans are going to be like, well, then you don't like, you don't, you don't, you don't mess with us. We're not messing with you. I'm, I'm trying not to curse on your platform. You don't, you don't F with us. We're not effing with you. So be gone. That's the logical explanation and reaction that fans have. Unless, unless you're Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay, because you got 9,000 people who own a half a percentage of a share <laughs> of that team, they feel like that's their team, right? Yeah. Their voices are a little bit louder than the, the 49ers fan base. Those people can say, hey, we insist on bringing this guy back if we can, if we can, if we can, if we can, right? Aaron Rodgers, multiple MVPs, Super Bowl champion. Uh, you know, his resume completely dims out anything Debo Samuel has done to this point in the NFL. So first understand the tier of where you are in the pecking order. OK, then after that, you got to realize something. They don't have much else to cheer for over there in Wisconsin. I'm sorry. They don't. San Francisco, it's a bit different. There's a lot of good franchises in that in that city, in that state, you know, so you can't do that. You're not the same player. You're not the same caliber. And this is not the same kind of fan base. You turn on us. We're going to turn on you. You ride with us. We'll ride with you. OK, you look at Frank Gore. Right. Everyone wanted Frank Gore to come back. Right. The team, they wanted Frank Gore to be extended. I'm talking years ago when he first went to Eagles. No, I'm never mind. I'm changing my mind. I'm going to the Colts. <laughs> like way back then, his first team, non 49ers, everybody wanted him to come back. Right. But Frank Gore said nothing but, hey, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. He's always been positive about his departure and his negotiations from the 49ers. And you know what that did? That brought equity with the fans. In addition to your career, in addition to what you've done, we still F with you, Frank, because you still F with us. Debo's not doing that. Debo's making it look like, oh, I, I'd rather be in Miami. If that's what you're going to do, then what do you expect the fans to say? Just want to take a quick second to shout out today's sponsor, Acre Gold. Matt calls it our gold stamp. Just because it's two and a half grams, I know you probably think of gold bars and you think they might be a little bigger, but this is two and a half grams. I actually just got these two today in the mail. Um, my subscription is actually going up. Here's my first two and a half gram gold bar. So I now have three two and a half gram gold bars, seven and a half grams of gold here, guys. Look, the days of forking over hundreds of dollars to buy gold at once are over. You can now invest as little as $50 a month to buy gold. And once you reach the market price of two and a half grams of gold, Acre Gold will discreetly send you a two and a half gram gold bar in the mail. 
and that builds up quickly. Trust me, guys. You can set it to 50. You can set it to 100. Whatever you want to pay for as little as $50 a month, though, you can start buying gold today. Click the link in the description and buy some gold. Get it started right now. Thank you, Anchor Gold, for sponsoring this video. No, I'll pay them and keep them here. Outbid Miami. No, you. we want you to want to be a part of us. Yeah. This, this is why we do it right here. We're not doing this because of Debo. We don't buy Debo Samuel teach. Well, some people do. No offense to anybody out there that did that. I, I, my apologies. But you guys know what I'm saying. You guys know what I mean. We're here because we support the 49ers. And once you're gone, you're gone. When you're here, you're here. But you can leave and still be getting love from the fan base. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it, he's doing it all wrong. He brought the hate, not the death threats, not the racial slurs, but people turning their backs on him now. He brought this to himself. Yeah. I mean, my, I think Matt says consistently on this channel is that, you know, we're fans of the front of the jersey, not the back. That's what matters the most. The logo on your sweater right now, you know, yes, the 49ers logo. And if you're not a part of building that and moving that forward, well, it was nice having you. And hopefully you can go to another team. Um, and I, I agree. The way that he's kind of gone about these contract negotiations on social media, it's weird. It's weird to me. And I think I'm still not used to this kind of era of social media and NFL players because they do use kind of every little tool in their arsenal to gain leverage with the teams. And don't get me wrong. They're going up against, uh, you know, colossal enemy and a giant NFL team with thousands of lawyers, probably that are trying to nickel and dime you in every way possible. But at the same time, you got to know when to kind of pick your battles and I guess how to, utilize them correctly um i saw he was also posting stuff uh you know liking people's instagram pictures that he's with talking about if it's not 25 million a year he doesn't want it Come on. and he's you know he's on that too so it's but like even, that even even that i'm okay with i was just gonna say you... that's okay. probably cool with me because it's not him like you said posting like he's out with to lunch with mike mcdaniel um asking for a realtor in miami you you touched on those and i thought it's funny because this reminded me of about a month or two ago when i tweeted out and i, I saw you laughed at it i said devo could tweet sh shit like kyle and john pissing me off man like i want to somebody needs to take these dudes out and then five minutes later he'll tweet man you need to chill not everything's about football and it's like <laughs> They're not the only John and Kyle I know. Yeah, guys. yeah, they're not the only John and Kyle in the world, guys. And it's like this is like gaslighting 101. Like you, you can't expect the fan base to be smart enough to understand what you're saying, but yet dumb enough to believe you when you say it's not about what it is, what they believe it's about. Yeah, I don't know, man. No, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like it's it's so strange, the dynamic. Like even right now, there's people in here saying that what I'm saying is wrong. This guy, you can click the next one. I saw it. You know, I'm I'm okay with people disagreeing with my takes, and I'm okay with people saying never listen. I, th that stuff doesn't bother me. You know why? Because Jay didn't get disrespectful. It's okay to say I don't agree with your opinions, right? It's the like again, it's the racial slurs, the death threats, and all that stuff. That's when people cross the line. I don't need everybody to agree with everything I'm saying. But there's other examples of what I'm talking about. DeForest Buckner and his contract negotiations, right? Joe Staley pulls De DeForest Buckner to the side, and what does he say? Hey, man, I'm handing the reins over to you. This is your team now. You're the veteran here. And he says, hey, bro, they told me I'm getting traded. You know what I'm saying? Buck yeah. didn't go out there and, and throw a hissy fit. He didn't say, oh, I'm, I'm looking for new people in Indy. I'm da 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 No, he left with grace. And I'm not even saying that Debo's going to leave. I want to be very clear. I want Debo here. I want Debo to get paid. What I'm saying is you can't be upset that people are turning their backs on you when you make it look like you don't want to be here. I said this. A couple of weeks ago, Callie's going to get to it in, in the comments. You're going to see it. I said this a couple of weeks ago on my Patreon. If Devo's not careful with the stuff that he's posting on his social media, the fans are going to turn against him. I said as quickly as they'll rally for you, they will turn their backs on you as soon as they feel betrayed by you. And that's unfortunately the part of the negotiations that he's having to deal with right now.